morning folks uh, probably not what you were expecting uh, as, an, <laughs> as an opener uh, on Easter Monday but hey here we are where are we we are in Chinatown why are we in Chinatown why not um, another super popular spot uh, for tourists this is one of the entrances into Chinatown and it's kind of magnificent uh, a lot of you will remember from uh, the TikTok days that Chinatown is one of my favourite parts of London and uh, this is a small part of why I mean it is glorious but more importantly today it's very very nice and sunny okay it's super super sunny it's going to hopefully be uh, a lovely day so we're going to head from here Chinatown uh, which is where I had to do a small thing this morning roughly about mm, let me think offhand I don't know 10 minutes maybe less uh, between here these amazing lanterns beautiful beautiful sunshine this morning uh, and our favorite little spot which has horses guards uh, and lots of happy tourists yep uh, let's see if I can get there folks without <laughs> without getting lost uh, I mean it's been a while but I'm reasonably confident of being able to make it this is probably the most the single most famous street uh, in London's Chinatown and you can understand why especially on a morning like today you know when it's sunny and bright absolutely glorious in fact this is Gerrard Street guys the kind of I call it Chinatown it, it is Chinatown we're in the absolute heart of uh, Chinatown here's Kowloon Buffet on my uh, on my left however um, lots of people call this Leicester Square we're pretty close to Covent Garden etc etc it's a bit of everything but this really is one of uh, one of the most unique parts of central London and it's very popular it's very very safe uh, I never had a problem here myself uh, not once and a lovely place even after dark actually um, very very friendly and amazing food Leicester Square is to my right I seem to remember uh, based on the fact that <laughs> the casino slots are on this side I'm reasonably sure and uh, of course Tian Fu, Lucky Foods on the left gosh it's making me hungry guys and I only just had breakfast this is not a good start to the day it really isn't however today is supposed to be uh, one of the nicest days we've had for a few weeks if 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 the weather holds up Chinese supermarkets if the weather holds up um, it could be a super day now obviously a lot of you are hoping as am I uh, secretly hoping expecting uh, they've got a lot to unload this morning that uh, the summer order uh, <laughs> will be on display today that said uh, if it is I don't know the actual policy vis-a-vis -vis whether or not the Blues and Royals would be in summer. I'm guessing they didn't bring over summer order with them. So I'm wondering if they leave uh, in the existing winter order they arrived in um, and the lifeguards ride over in summer order. This is the thing that kind of uh, intrigued me uh, and it's something that I don't think anyone knows the answer to. Logically, I would not have expected the Blues to have brought over two orders. But then again, they did bring a hell of a lot of kit on Friday. This, ladies and gents, God, I'm so tempted to go in and buy a coconut bun, uh, is probably, definitely, definitely my favourite, but one of the most famous places in Chinatown. Chinatown Bakery. Amazing, delicious, absolutely incredible treats. And in London terms, bargains as well. Like really, really, really good value. Unlike most things in London, uh, which are really, really bad value. Terrible thing to say, but hey, it's the truth. Now, I mentioned that we were close to Leicester Square. This little area <laughs> we're walking along now, uh, it's kind of ominous for a few other reasons that luckily don't apply right now because it's daytime. But let's just say that this, uh, this little street is very different <laughs> after dark. That might give you a clue why. Oh, the bro did not like uh, the camera there, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. So yeah, let's just go in front of me, folks. I will now do a right. I didn't realize when I walked past the open door with the sign that the girl was sitting there. 
<laughs> ready for work. Oops. Okay. We have emerged, everybody. And now we will head. Actually, wait. There's a bit of traffic. Let's go this way. I wanted to cross over because it's a little more interesting, but. Actually, yeah, we're stuck for a minute. Lovely light. Doesn't it look so different, guys? Everything looks so different when oh, the light is right. Uh, before you get excited, we're not going to the Hippodrome Casino uh, because I'm too poor. So that's going to have to wait for another day. Cranbourne Street on my right. Uh, and just ahead, actually we'll stay on this side of the road because the other side is a little, little teeny mini bit, uh, well, I mean wet for a start, they've just washed it, but not as sunny. This is Charing Cross Road, incidentally, for anyone that cares. Uh, Charing Cross Road leads from Chinatown, that's the square just behind me, um, and most of Covent Garden, which is the other side of the street to my left. Uh, it leads from there to Trafalgar Square, which we'll be at uh, in just a minute or two. It's super close. Another good thing about today is that uh, it's not windy, which is a rarity. Those lifeguard horses have no idea yet uh, about how lucky they've been to pull this duty because we're back to rain by Wednesday. So they're going to get maybe one or two days of beautiful weather uh, until they finish on Wednesday. And the blues come back, meaning that next weekend is going to be again. Uh, Actually, let me think. Yeah, next weekend will be a lifeguards weekend. We'll typically alternate. But we're very close to the Garrick, everybody. Remember, it's been in the, uh, in the news quite a lot recently. That very exclusive club uh, that is so exclusive it doesn't allow women. Uh, which to me, uh, reeks of stupidity more than exclusivity. But there we are. The church we can see in the distance uh, that we're walking toward uh, is St Martin the Fields. We've never actually approached it from this side in these videos, we're always the other side. London does look absolutely magnificent though, doesn't it folks, when it's sunny. People are already up nice and early to go into the National Portrait Gallery here on Trafalgar Square. Again, this is the back of it, we hardly ever see uh, this side of things. I wasn't even aware that it was open today, to be honest. Um, today is a public holiday in the UK. So, for example, um, the vast majority of shops, banks, blah, blah, are closed. Uh, coffee shops and uh, local corner shops and so on will be open. But almost everything else is closed. Yep, even in central London, guys. But then again, this is not a 24-hour city anyway. Uh, despite what a lot of people would have us uh, believe, London is a long way from being a 24-hour city. It never has been, sadly. It's something that, uh, that I don't like. I would prefer that it were a 24-hour city. Very hard to get a decent meal in the middle of the night in London, which, after having lived in cities like Moscow, which actually really does truly never, ever sleep, you can get anything you want 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's a unfortunate. That's some mud in the fields, guys. Isn't it magnificent? Yes, it is. And in front of us, it's Trafalgar Square. Notice it's very busy on the street today. Tourists, like moths, out in the glorious morning light. And here we are. Other than Paris, folks, I can't really think. Paris Red Square, maybe. Uh, in Moscow, there aren't many places where you sort of walk around the corner and all of a sudden you're not quite speechless because I've seen it you know, thousands of times, but you never get tired of it. That, that difference, the contrast to everything we saw before. Chinatown, beautiful as it is, it is a bit shabby, it's a little bit unloved, and uh, it does have a, a dark and seedy side, but then again, doesn't pretty much everywhere. Really, really, really amazing light. Look at this, folks. That is absolutely incredible. Canada House in the distance. Fountains on full blast. Tourists, Instagrammers, other people like me ran out the second they woke up and saw the light. 
knowing that it could be another three months until you get a day this nice. Tall group's already out in force. Oh, hold on a second. I recognise this guy. He's often at Horse Guards. So this is where he starts his tours here in Trafalgar Square. Wow, that's a massive group he's got. That's a really big group. And they all look delighted to be stuck on the, on the steps uh, in what feels, to be honest guys, in the sunshine, like 20 degree heat. It's not, it's nowhere near that. But in the sunshine, it certainly feels like it. So this seems to be where the majority of the tall groups that we see at Horse Guards, uh, this is where they begin. Kind of makes sense. I mean, it's a good, uh, good spot to meet uh, and begin looking around. Plus, although it's quite a large space, there's uh, there's plenty of room here to find your group. People are absolutely loving the weather today. I can't say I blame them. Magnificent. It's a pleasure just to be outside, actually, on a, on a morning like this morning. Uh, and in front, as ever, we have Whitehall. No climbing on the lions. I don't know when uh, the Great London Authority introduced that because that is a pretty recent policy. People used to be up on the lions, they were climbing all over them, etc. For, I mean, as long as I can remember. I don't know who's actually going to police that because I'm not seeing like an army of, uh, of security here, but I don't know, maybe they put CCTV in. Also, I don't know if it's a temporary thing or whether that's a new permanent rule. I personally don't think people should be climbing up on the, on the lions. But it's one of those things, hey, you know, my parents did it, my grandparents did it, why can't I do it kind of uh, attitude, I think. Don't worry, guys, we're not about to get run over. Beep, beep. Toot, toot. See how close together everything is, folks. It took us, well, I mean, pretty much spot on 10 minutes, give or take, uh, to get from Chinatown to Whitehall. And you wouldn't even believe that those two places uh, were so close together as the contrasts, architecturally, aesthetically, and in many other ways, are pretty extreme, aren't they? Between where we were uh, and where we're going. The uh, guard change at the palace this morning is going to be something else not only is it Easter Monday but uh, obviously it's bright and it's the final day of holiday it's going to be an absolute scrum however bad we've ever seen horse guards get the palace can get five times worse it's honestly that bad folks it's one thing I don't miss about uh, being out and about and making videos the palace is really hard work Okay, so we're here on Whitehall, and actually, of uh, course the traffic, I was going to say the traffic's moving from Monday, but of course it is why, uh, because almost no one is going to work, <laughs> that's why. Uh, plus, a lot of the issues in London um, are with delivery drivers, not their fault, uh, the mayor's fault really, the, the whole entire system is a mess in London, traffic-wise, but a lot of white man, white van man uh, delivery drivers in the centre who of course are not working today. Why? Because everything is closed as I mentioned before. Oh, that's a lot of luggage. That's probably the most I've ever seen. Oh. <laughs> Did anyone catch what he said? I'm not sure if that was Mandarin or Cantonese. He said, is this guy filming me? And the answer to his question is, yes bro, I am. Why? Because you're in a public place. It's pretty much a dead on 15 minute walk looking at the uh, time on the video. So I'm switching the camera on at the opening of Chinatown before turning to Gerrard Street to getting to Horse Guards, which, as we can see at the moment, is uh, just in the distance. But don't be fooled, guys, this uh, relative calm and tranquility we're enjoying this morning in the sunshine it ain't gonna last. Nope 
part of the reason why I decided to get out early. Uh, depending on what happens with some order and the number of people that arrive post regimental changeover, uh, there might be two parts. I was thinking to myself, the smart solution would be to try and make a couple of two part days this week so that when I'm away for a few days next week, uh, I'll still be able to post. In other words, I can upload the videos, do the tags and stuff, get everything ready, and then just make the videos public when I'm traveling. Because yes, folks, there will sadly uh, be a couple of missing days. But I'm thinking if I'm one or two days behind with the footage, that's a good thing. For example, if this video ends up being published either today, Monday, or tomorrow, Tuesday, it doesn't really matter as long as it gets published. But yesterday's part two was an interesting one, so I'll see how today goes before making a call on what to publish first. Okay, so the blues are here, and uh, as expected, they are in still winter cloaks. Incidentally, the horse that was named as Infinity yesterday, Gelly, big thanks to you, uh, is not in fact Infinity, it's Yvonne. There's a mix up because the horse has uh, the number five. Both horses have the number five. Uh, but the second digit is a little bit messy, as I mentioned in the video yesterday. So I was calling it as Infinity, but Gelly was right. She correctly pointed out uh, that it was in fact Yvonne, and I can confirm that after double checking it twice last night. Here we are. God is absolutely, I'm sure he's boiling. In, the, in that helmet, in this sunshine. Honestly, folks, it's really, really warm. No, it's okay. It's so warm, I'm even gonna undo my tops. Oh. Uh, bro. Okay, let's enjoy some sunshine, guys. And a uh, little bit of time. The clock's been fixed, by the way. It's roughly quarter to 11. So let's just enjoy it. Enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the blues, because we will not be seeing them again for a good few days. Horsey looks super happy this morning. Look at that coat, glistening, positively glistening in the sunshine. Glistening as he's listening. Yep, that's right. It's so busy behind me already that uh, people walking in front of the camera, not behind it, are that. Oh. <laughs> a couple of random kids I don't know in the back of the picture. <laughs> Folks, we know how it is on Mondays. And the bing bong is back. Yep, they fixed the clock. I guess somebody came over and wound it late last night. In okay. fact, just remembering folks, any moment the blues will be uh, will be heading out. Horse looks over the moon. I mean really over the moon. Let's have a quick peek inside of what's going on. I don't expect there to be much at all, but Oh, they swapped over, look. Yesterday's chitsman is today's gatesman. Yeah, they actually swap functions, which is good. <laughs> Look at that Chinese god's face, whoa. And luckily, there's no one on this side in his way this morning, as you can see. Uh, and I'm certainly not going to be getting in his way because there are a lot of people here. It's going to be far, far harder to move out the way than usual. But we've got this end. We've got another beauty, folks. Uh, Lady Trooper again. There we are. Horse is a little bit back in the box this morning, but not for long, I'm sure. Okay, and the police are not moving yet. I don't think there's uh, a chance that the Blues are imminently about to be leaving. But they are leaving this morning. I mean, they've been here since Friday, so <laughs> I'm sure they can't wait to leave this morning. Actually, yep, they're starting to mount up at the back. We're gonna have a quick stroll through the tunnel, uh, just momentarily, to show you how different it all looks compared to yesterday on a sunny morning. It's actually really chilly in the tunnel, <laughs> boiling at the front. 
How's that for uh, a contrast? As you can see, a lot of people already arriving and waiting to see what's going to happen with the changeover. Look at this. That is a fair number, isn't it? Well done, ladies and gents. Gloomy tunnel. It's kind of like, oh, I want to go in the tunnel. Way too gloomy. A few clouds, but I'm reasonably certain the, uh, the good weather will hold up this morning. It's predicted to be sunny until lunchtime. Let's see. Public holiday plus sunshine plus warm weather should equal, arguably, uh, one of the best days we've had so far this year. We will see. It all depends on what happens and the type of people that turn up and so on. We all know this. The variables here are infinite. Apparently, somebody said the lifeguard, the uh, sorry, the Blues and Royals King's lifeguard on this side is single. I just heard somebody in crowd muscle. Look, everybody just ran over to ask for his number. One small problem, he's not single. Sorry, Penny just dropped. I'm a bit slow this morning. She's like, how do you use an iPhone 7? Well, this is how you use it. See, so guys, being a tour guide is not as glamorous as you thought it was. Oh. Ah, he just showed his idea. Where, where is he going? Is he working in the shop today? New shop worker. I'm conscious actually of the blues being mounted. In theory, they'll leave in the next couple of the clock. I mean, any time actually. They could leave at any moment. Second. Uh, I'm in the middle of a video. I'm watching because my boy's on that horse there. Ah, he's on the horse this side. Ah, one second. I've been watching the video, so let's, let's make sure we get some really nice footage of him this morning then. Thanks for doing it. No, my pleasure. I bet he's happy to be going back to Hyde Park shortly, isn't he? Yeah. That was a long weekend for all of them. Okay, wow. Oh, that's a, that was a lovely and, uh, and friendly lady. She said hi. Hi to the trooper. Uh, so the Trooper's family are here today, folks, as you just heard. Um, very proud of him, rightly so. He's a magnificent fellow. And I'm wondering, actually, let's have a quick look if we get over a teeny bit, which horse he's on. I know I should know, guys, but hey, better to check, especially after yesterday's little uh, debug with Infinity. Let's have a quick peek. Let's see. Oh my god. We've got the situation again with uh, with the light being off. Okay, you know what? I'm going to read out yesterday's list, folks, and you can decide for yourself. So yesterday we had Neptune and Yvonne, and the first two horses were Lincoln and Wombat. I'm like an idiot, I didn't note their numbers down when I wrote the horse diary. So I can't even compare. So you can choose. My money's on... My money's on Gelly. Gelly, you can do it. Name the horse. I'm just trying to remember which horse it was from yesterday, but the light on the uh, on the hoof, the sunlight is a bit too bright. It's not coming up clearly. How long has he been in? Wow. Yeah, this is his first. Wait, is it really? I've seen him before. Friday was his first. This is his first. I mean, he's a natural. Come on, he's got that. Do not even think about getting close and messing with me face. No, has it? hundred percent. You've got a good rest. In yeah, he has actually. I'm genuinely surprised. Wow, I could have sworn I've seen him here before. I think it's probably because he looks like a couple of the other guys. Especially, I mean, they all look very different without the helmet. Once they take that off. 
Yeah, so this is his first first weekend. But was he done in Portford before, or he just started up here just in London? Yeah, just, just come from Windsor. Um, so straight into the deep end yeah, for an yeah, Easter yeah, weekend. Yeah, oh, yeah. bloody hell. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. Yeah. I mean, it's what I can see, and I've been here, this is day four. It's been a very busy weekend. Yeah. He smashed it. I haven't, I haven't seen any any single thing go wrong at all, to be honest. Yeah. A few issues at that end. It's always in that, at that end that the horses kick off there. Oh, okay. uh, wait, someone's just like to invade our, our frame, guys. This is not the partner of the trooper, by the way. It's just a random tourist. But she looks happy because she's got him in the background. Oh, someone's sacrificing their kid to the guard as well behind us. Look at this. It's all happening. No, it's a pleasure. Which one is it? Cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Kevin. Uh, give my best uh, to your boy. Yeah? Taking him back home. Yeah. He's on the Where, where are you from? Where's that? Ah, ah, okay. All right. Okay. So I'm guessing he, when he was growing up, he probably thought about joining a local regiment as well. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the local ceremonial side of things. Yep. A lot of people don't get that. A lot of people think that the guards, to be honest, prefer being down in Balford away from the public eye. But it's not true. I know a lot of them that do prefer to be here because the day goes by fast when you're looking at all of this, doesn't it? Yep. And a lot to laugh about and to talk about with your friends uh, when the day's finished. <laughs> Okay, I'll get him uh, riding out with the rest because I'm, I'm expecting the Blues will leave shortly. First lifeguard will come in, Boxman will change over, so he'll probably be heading out in about 30 to 40 minutes from now, I would think. So yeah, he's got a bit of a wait till he's done. He's got a longer shift. <laughs> Switch later. Okay, folks. Right, let's go back into the yard. There you heard it from uh, the father, lovely guy uh, from Hereford. Uh, looks a bit SAS to me. I'm not going to say any more that some of the troopers love, like really love, the ceremonial side of things, okay? I've been told that many times, actually, <laughs> weird as it might sound, uh, by some of the female lady troopers more than the, uh, the male troopers. But then again, most of the girls that join HCAV uh, have a horsey background. Some of them have a very, very distinguished horsey background before they join HCAV. Uh, and yeah, almost to a girl, they all love being... Uh, on ceremonial. Right, police are starting to fan out everybody. Isn't this a great reason to sometimes get here early? Meet such interesting people and find out super interesting things about the personal side uh, of HCAV. Right, they're not gonna, oh God, I hope they're not gonna close the front gates. Uh, I started getting nervous and I thought they were gonna pull the front gates closed we were gonna be <laughs> stuck like yesterday. Nah, new guards on its way. It's remarkable. Just talking to the father of, uh, of the boxman on this side. Oh, yeah. It was his boy's first ever weekend on guard duty. I oh, said to him, no. he, he absolutely smashed it. Four days in a row, not a single issue. Look, born natural, honestly. Yeah, proud dad, and rightly so. Lovely. Now, we should get the blues leaving, and luckily, it's nice and sunny. It's best morning for weeks, though. <coughs> What we've been waiting for, isn't it? Last. The shower's on the way, so uh, best of luck. How long do you reckon it's going to be before uh, they get this redone? <laughs> oh, sorry, 18 months to get the thing done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yep. Somebody needs to deal with the entrance, everybody, yeah. Uh, um, spell it with the R, ideally. <laughs> Hopefully at some point. Okay, it's a little busy this morning, guys, if we look around. Uh, luckily, there's a spot for the Blues to head out right in front of me. How's about that, guys? We're right next to the tunnel. Um, yeah. oh, I think actually, so the beginning of the week, this is a very big, uh, very, very good big group of people. Impressive turnout, 55. I'm not gonna move from here, folks, because uh, next up will be the Blues. Coming out. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> nice. They just opened the gates. Okay, here come the uh, the first of the blues heading out to the parade ground. Magnificent. Oh, look at this big boy, wow.
The fellow at the back, everybody, uh, is one of the most experienced riders in the whole entire household cavalry. Uh, he's also uh, a professional. One second, guys, one second. Way too many people pushing behind me. Sorry, let me move back. He's also uh, a teacher, guys. He teaches uh, others in HCO how to ride. He's a professional, uh, professional rider and teacher. Oh, hold on. The trooper's moving again. He just finished. Actually, of course he's moving again. Why? Because he's going to change over. Somebody's on their phone. Oh no! Wow, that was lucky. He had the lucky escape, but he knows it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you <laughs> from the US, even his wife just told him off. She's like, no, you weren't, you're on the phone. Naughty, naughty. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise they were showing it this morning. Guys, they have actually closed it and traps in the yard. Damn it. Oh no. Oh no. But wait, why would they be closing it this morning, I'm wondering? That's curious. Oops. Office is not happy. Oh, and me as well. Everyone being thrown out to the back. Unusual for Monday, though. It's supposed to be uh, closed at the front. Yeah. Guys, it is what it is. Yep, it's being closed. We got trapped. We got ourselves trapped. I mean, it's good and bad. It's good in the sense that we're going to get to see the lifeguards arriving. Uh, but it's bad in the sense that we're going to have a bit of a wait. They actually did close it. Huh? I, have, I have actually closed the yard. Have they? Yeah, so we're stuck at it. I have no idea why they would do that this morning. Oh, What's no, happened? Like, uh, like New Year's Day, not bank holiday, the yep. public are short start. It's just a crowd control. They oh, is that what it is? Ah, okay. I was oh, thinking damn, somebody. I'm just, I'm just the first time that they go through and see <laughs> that. <laughs> no, I was just wandering around the yard yeah. watching the blues leave and all of a sudden turn around and they're like, boom. Uh, everyone out. Damn it, yeah. That's it, short staff, yeah? Yeah. Makes well, sense. Oh dear. Bad luck for us. There we have it, guys. Uh, lifeguards arriving. Massive amount of people. Uh, and we are stuck here. But, 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 if you think I'm going to wait here for half an hour, then folks, viewers, you really don't know me. Because I'm not waiting here for half an hour. Absolutely no chance. So I'm going to go all the way round and back to the front. That's my cunning plan. Let's hope the horses behave this morning. If anyone can recognise their favourite lifeguards. Quite a lot of new faces here, actually, folks. It's a new troop. Yep, they've replaced the troop. This is not the same troop that we're here uh, last week that departed on Friday morning. Massive, massive crowd. Look at it. I'm genuinely surprised that, um, but it does make sense. I mean, there are only four officers in the yard and there's no way that four officers is enough to control a guard change. So it does make sense actually that they've closed the gates for that. We can't even get close to the police horses. What I'm gonna do everybody is pause this video, run around to the front, all the way around, <laughs> fire to Bagger Square. Uh, and I'll be back in about, I don't know, five to 10 minutes at the front gates video uninterrupted except for a single pause I'll be right back guys I always know what you're thinking guys did we not already see this part of the video and you know what you're right we did it's groundhog day folks why because we already walked to horse guards this morning but we got stuck at the uh, <laughs> at the parade ground at the back I mean I'm super happy in one way that uh, that I didn't take anyone with me. That would have been super awkward, actually. Like, okay, come to the back. It's fine, it's all good, blah, blah, blah. Only to then find out, a little bit later, that, you know what, it's actually not good. Anyway, as you heard from uh, the gent that we were speaking to, um, often, bank holidays, they will completely seal the yard because there are not enough police officers, military, military defence police officers on duty to place it. Fair enough. It makes sense. There were only four. Normally I have six or eight. So here we are. We're back, actually. Would you believe it? We are back where we started, everyone. Yep. Back where we began. 
Everyone looking at me like, hold on a second, was you not here a little while ago? So yes, guys, the yard is, uh, is it, I think it's a police top parlance, uh, sterile. No one in, no one out. And I think, actually, the lifeguards haven't even come through yet. So we're going to have to be at the front, guys. We're going to have to wait. It is... Actually, wait, I made it around here in seven minutes. It's pretty good. I mean, it's actually good for my health as well, thinking about it, folks. If I'm running around like this, exercise, fresh air, interesting, friendly people. You know, it's about as good as it gets, isn't it, really? The thing is, we can't get super close because uh, there's not enough space. Morning. I just got stuck at the back. They just, you know, they noticed they closed it this morning. They never close it on Mondays, but they close it today. There's not enough staff. So I just, I've been here for like 40 minutes, but I got stuck. And then they threw everyone out of the back. So I just ran around again to the, to the front. Oops. It's hot though, no? Ooh. Yeah, very good. Okay, box are open, folks. Uh, oh. Let's hope this girl's not from Canada, guys. Otherwise, she's gonna get her hands bitten off, like yesterday. Oh, new boxman. Hey, perfect timing for the runaround. Beauty we're going to have coming up next. Well done, that trooper. First ever weekend, folks, on ceremonials. Smashed it. thinking that hey he should already know the name of the lifeguard horse that has the lightning bolt blaze and I should you're right but I don't so let's find out That is even the uh, Shitsman Gatesman changeover is uh, being conducted behind closed doors and closed gates, as it were. Right, let's see if we can pick up a number. This box has been notoriously difficult because of the uh, the shade on the hooves. You know, that hoof is properly shaded. Look, the way the horse stands, it's almost like he's been trained to uh, cast a shadow over his hoof number. But I think I've got it. Let's have a look. It's way good, folks. Oh, <laughs> it's directly, directly at the camera. Yep, it's way good. Moved his hoofs. Wait, let me look at that number. Yeah, it's definitely hundred percent way good. Oh, 
Actually, for like a couple of weeks since the lifeguards have been here. I mean, they were here on Friday, but Friday morning until they left briefly. But wow. After four days in a row, uh, I'm mildly tired, so the Blues and Royals must be shattered. They've just completed the uh, the busiest weekend of the year thus far, and didn't they do well, everybody? There were really, really uh, only a few minor problems. I mean, that's primarily due to the tourists behaving themselves, obviously, not the Blues. Here we go. Again. <laughs> oh, she's already touched. Touch, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Gosh, here we go. Now nobody can wait. A lot of people here though, guys. So, like, this is what we're dealing with already. And they haven't even opened the gates yet. <laughs> Sally Torres too busy giggling, stepping all over my feet. Which is fine, except that I'm wearing brand new trainers this morning. You know what it's like when you put on new shoes for the first time, you're like, ah, and you get the first, uh, first bit of dirt on them. <laughs> oh, can I touch it? Yep, you can touch it. This horse's temperament is like, I guess we'll find out shortly. They've got the lifeguards that just arrived, came on the shortest shift of the day, folks. It's already quarter past 11, so in 45 minutes they'll be off. Uh, there will be a part two today, you'll be delighted to hear, uh, primarily to cover whichever two horses replace these two. So we've got way good, I'm going to pop on my list now and I'll go to the other end uh, soon before they open or when they open the gates. I don't know how long it's going to take. I mean, if they're keeping it open, sorry, closed rather, uh, and not letting the front open again until 11, 30, 11, probably another 20 minutes, I would think, until they open it up. But that deluge from the back through those gates is going to be something else. If even half those people we saw on the parade ground decide to come this way, it's going to be a problem. Right, let's pop Wagon on our little list. A lot of you have asked before, what's the best time to get here? Um, typically, now, okay. on the regimental changeover days, the best time to get here is roughly around about 10.30, 10.40 a.m. So you've got a good 15 minutes to take your time, get a decent picture, maybe stroke the horse without pressure from other people to move out of the way. Sir. I thought it was yesterday with a girl's uh, skin getting caught in, caught in a horse's teeth and her being massively in distress. Uh, second, I see the horse getting a little bit fruity and curious. It makes me think, hmm. <laughs> Raffles, I'm guessing. Oh. That is a lovely outfit. <laughs> Outstanding. She wins already. Oh. 
Yep, the horse is Billy some more. He's right about that. <laughs> Bellissimo. Against the uh, against the cloak works well against the guard's cloak. Anyone that is uh, is arriving in London today, you won the lottery, <laughs> weather-wise. Look at this, look. Completely fine to have short sleeves, it's that warm. Now it feels on my head like a, a boiling egg, about 15, 16, 17 degrees, which is absolutely gloriously balmy for, uh, for London on a Monday morning. Oh, <laughs> say hello to the guard. <laughs> hello. Loving optimism. Hello. Okay, let's uh, head to the other end. Yes, in my ear. Need to be careful this end because the uh, the light is always the problem. Let's see which beauty they've got here in this box. If I get a decent spot, that is. Big if. We need to be a little bit off-center to avoid uh, flaring in the image. Gosh, that hoof number. Uh, well, let's see if I can get it clean, you guys. Let's name this beauty. Blues are leaving, they're off. There they go. We can't go and watch because uh, the yard is closed. I said they're closed it for the whole day. Oh, numbers are tricky. One, one second. We're really going to struggle in the summer actually with light on the hooves. They're so flipping shiny and uh, you can barely read them. Okay, I'm reasonably certain that it is tyranny. Yeah. Oh, actually, where? Tyranny. Ho, ho, ho. What do you mean, John? Of course it is. Okay, so Tyranny and Waygood are our first lifeguard horses. thing in the UK where people sort of pinch you a little bit and they say pinch punch first day of the month uh, I hope that's not going to happen here but especially I'm trying to film but it is I'm sure it's tyranny even facially I'm sure it is however after yesterday's muck up I want to be absolutely unequivocally sure 
And the only way to have that certainty is the hoof number clearly pictured and matched. Yeah, it's two and eight, 100%. It's very chilled today though, actually. That horse looks super chill. So I don't think he's going to be nipping everybody. Which one do we like most? Way good or tyranny? Way good certainly is a beauty actually. Tyranny's got a certain presence. But when the horse is back in the box, it looks a lot smaller. Like a lot smaller. I think the trip has done that because it's so uh, so warm and he's still got. Actually, wait, hold on a second, folks. Wait a flipping minute. Where's the summer order? Okay, this is interesting. Notice actually, where, where's the summer uniform? <laughs> Maybe this month, no? It's supposed to be today, but very odd. Especially it's so hot, this would have been the perfect Just day to change. For that yeah. Oops, yeah, guys, we were at a loss. We have no idea. Why on earth are they still in winter order uh, when it's this hot? Because that policeman just told me that. Unless, the only thing I can think of, possibly, they would have been up early this morning preparing, getting ready, then they rode over. I'm wondering, and we'll, we won't have long to wait, I'm wondering if they've just ridden over um, in summer order with the cloaks. I mean, there's no way of knowing at all until 11 a.m. What's going to happen at 11 a.m.? Well, uh, sorry, at 12 noon rather. At 12 noon, we'll have the changeover. If there's going to be a dismount in the yard and if during the changeover uh, the troopers come out dressed differently then obviously we'll know. Let's try and zoom us through to have a look at the lifeguard horses that are arriving. Let's go right in. There we are. See if you can spot any favourites, folks. One. Two. Three. Five. Oh, they're opening the yard. Oh, okay, that was a surprise. I actually genuinely was not expecting that. Let's zoom us back out again. Okay, this next 15 minutes until part two is going to be crazy. Look. They're all heading to the palace. And then the deluge from the tunnel is heading to the front. Yikes. <laughs> Everyone's looking at me smiling like, hey, let's in again. We feel we feel home. That's great. Okay, so we're just gonna have to wait and see guys. Uh, there's no one here to ask why they are still in winter order when the date has already passed. Most curious. I would not have expected that. But hey, there it is. This place is full of uh, surprises and the unexpected, as we've seen many, 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 many times. Let's uh, have a little peek at who we've got in the arches over this side. If I had a choice right now of being a boxman or uh, the gatesman, I'd be the gatesman. He's got a lovely chilled spot. With that cloak, the last place you want to be is on a horse in the box in boiling hot weather. Okay, I mean, exactly, it's not boiling, but I mean, relatively speaking, compared to what we've had recently, it is lovely and hot and warm and sunny and bright and glorious. And I'm praying it stays like this next week in France. Okay, we've got the exceptionally tall lifeguard. Uh, all sorts of spammy nonsensical videos appear with this fellow saying that he's you know seven foot five and stuff he's not he's probably six four maybe six five i would guess a little bit taller than me but very well presented fellow actually and he's got actually one of the best fitting cloaks of them all leads me to believe that uh every coat is tailored as opposed to them going to the stores and being given you know a large a larger a very large or an enormous We will go back to the front, guys, at some point soon. Try not to zoom the camera around 
360 too quickly. Helicopters in the skies. You don't agree with me that um, of the two horses, the one whose temperament we know best is tyranny. So I think I'm going to pop myself, if I can, firmly in front of tyranny uh, and stay there if I can get a spot until the end of part one. That's the intention. A lot easier said than done, though, folks. You can see, look at that. Wow, he's a bit, 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 bit busy. <coughs> Right. So did I, I ran all the way around. Someone can stay with you. But that's a waste of time. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I think they closed it this morning because there were not enough staff. Wait, is that Boris Johnson? It's Boris Johnson 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ellis. Yeah, he, he's. He, he, uh, he, he didn't sign for another four years, so he's, he's finished. Yeah, he's out. Uh, he was in for four. Uh, if you're going to stay, you need to, you need to sign up for another four. He's for But yeah, he. Uh, no, he's moved on to uh, a career in the private sector. He'll be very successful really because he's a super oh, yeah. nice guy. Yep. <laughs> Sorry for the heads, guys. There we are. So, hi, too. Okay, so Tyrion is back on form. How to respectful, sir. Yeah. He's left a huge, he, sorry, he's left a huge mark on his arm, look. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, come to it. Respect for the. What was the uh, German guy saying, folks, uh, behind about respect? I think he said you need to be. Did he, did he say you need to be respectful or something? I'm yes. much intrigued to uh, to get a translation, German speakers, please, if any of you know what he was saying. I'm sure it was positive. It certainly sounded positive. Again. You see that guy with a hat who's in front of the horse a mile away. Oh, here we go, look. So when I thrust the camera into the air, guys, it's just to get over people's heads in front of me.
The lifeguards all mond. Slather and slobber all over everyone's arms. Yes, you were here yesterday. Yes, yeah. Canadian girl got very bad with this huge mark on her arm yesterday. Yeah, very bad. Some uniform today. <laughs> what happened? Where's the, ar where's the armor? That's what we have Yep. I'm hoping that when they change over to 12, the, the first two new ones will come out with uh, with the armor. Hopefully. I'm not sure though. to go home. It's like I'm done. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I think that's partly why he pulled the horse back because he knew it was going to be crowded this morning. Plus he's out in the sun. Smart guy. Oops. <laughs> Turn the other way. <laughs> They're waiting here. <laughs>
Wait, I'll, uh, unbelievable. It's so funny. I mean, very sweet. <laughs> My friends are laughing as well. away there. Both of the horses are very curious. Look, <laughs> curious, nippy. Look at this end. That was way good. Look. Look at it. Did you get it? Did you get the said to his daughter, they just got the slather. <laughs> You probably heard that. He said, did you get the dry cleaning money from the guard? Uh, brilliant. Okay, folks, I will... Uh, <laughs> I'll be back in uh, in a couple minutes uh, for part two. Uh, so hold tight, everyone. Yeah, part two, <laughs> part two coming up uh, momentarily. Um, I think I'll go back, spend a little bit more time with Tyranny, because shortly, let me look at the clock. I can't even get back far enough for it. One second. Too busy here. 11.39. Yeah, I'll be back uh, with a bit of tyranny before they have the changeover. Uh, and I probably will come into the yard for the changeover. We'll see. Back shortly, guys, uh, for part two. Bye for now.